Hi, I'm Leah from Rampley Co and today I'm joined by fashion consultant Chris Modo for our style series on understanding collar shapes. Chris, could you tell us a little bit about this collar shape? Of course, Leah. This is a moderate cutaway, also known as an English spread. Um, very, very classic, works well with most styles of jacket, particularly this very classic two button and um, it accommodates a small to medium knot, so it's perfect for a, a four in hand knot or a half Windsor if you press that a little bit further. This is a quite an extreme cutaway collar where the points are dramatically sort of spread back, um, sitting under the lapels, and it creates a real focus point to the neck. Um, if you're a fan of larger knots, such as the Windsor knot, this is a good collar shape to go for because you've got plenty of space to accommodate it. But it doesn't mean you can't do a, a smaller four in hand for a, an equally elegant look. Um, but it really draws attention to it. And I love the way it pushes the tie knot out. So it's quite a dramatic, uh, stylish look. And here's an example of the Windsor knot in quite a thick tie. And as you can see, it makes quite a substantial knot. Um, I never wear Windsor knots. I'm not a fan of the look. But if you like this look, this collar really accommodates it well. Um, and if you can, if you want to get to the next level of Windsor knot tying, try and match the stripes coming in and out of the knot. See, that's a very nice touch. So here you go, a Windsor knot, thick tie, extreme cutaway. It's quite a bold look. Chris, what could you tell us about this collar style? This is quite an unusual collar shape. You don't often see it in a ready-made shirt, but it's a long point style. Um, the great thing about it is that the collar points sit really well under the lapel of the jacket. As you can see, it's quite long. So when you take your jacket off, it's quite a statement. But whilst wearing a jacket, it looks really sharp. Well, that's quite a long collar shape. You've got quite a narrow opening, so I prefer it with a smaller knot. You can also, if it's your style, pin or clip this collar for added detail. Um, but I think it's a really sharp, slightly retro look. The button down is a very popular shape. I particularly like it worn without a tie, you know, just casually. But you can put a tie with it. I'd always recommend putting a, a small foreign hand knot with it because of the, the, the tie space. Um, but also things like striped ties look great with it. You know, slightly sportier, not so formal. And particularly I like button downs with blazers. We hope you enjoyed this styling video. If you have any questions regarding any of our products, please email us at info at and we'll be happy to help. Also, please subscribe to our YouTube channel for future videos on men's styling and product features.